Hey there, YouTubians. This is John. Welcome back to the Golden Car Comics channel. Uh, I've got myself uh, well, another Funko Pops and Comic Drops edition today. That's that's what I'm just going to keep calling these. Because uh, uh, I, I found that uh, with the, my LCS not getting uh, new comics anymore, I've been buying some of my uh, newer issues online. But um, I found that I've had a lot more free uh, money to spend on... Uh, Pops and figures and games and, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just going a little crazy with the Funko thing. Uh, anyway, but my first thing up here obviously is not Funko. It is the Jada toy figure line. I've got some chases, uh, even though they're not marked, which is kind of odd to me. But I have the silver Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, a silver Supergirl. Let's see if I can get some glare out of there. There we go. There we go. And, of course, the traditional Silver Harley. Uh, these are the, I believe, the two and a half inch figures. So I'll be putting uh, these up on my wall and next to my Gold Harley, which is, a, I believe, a four inch figure. But anyway, there you go. We're going to start off uh, today's uh, FPCP. FPCD. Funko Pops and Comic Drops. Yeah, with, with something that's neither. So, we'll start with those. Now we'll move on to some Funkos. And I went a little nuts, and my girlfriend helped me go a little nuts, and my girlfriend went nuts too. Um, I had told myself I wasn't going to do the WWE or WWF uh, Wrestling Pops, but... Um, you know, my girlfriend's been awesome. We've been together for over 20 years, and she just uh, she knows that I grew up really liking uh, the WWF, because back then it was a WWF. Uh, I used to watch it all the time with my grandpa. Um, those are some actually pretty good memories. And uh, here's one of my heroes to go along with my Andre the Giant pop that I showed you guys earlier. I found the Ultimate Warrior. And is the only one in, in FYE, is the only Ultimate Warrior. And I know he's not worth a ton of money, but it was just really cool. And so, and now I've got him. And of course, if you, uh, if you follow wrestling at all, you figure, I like Andre the Giant. I like the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, that's right. I like Hulk Hogan too. I know he's been kind of controversial, and I'm not a big fan of everything he says and does. But he was a really cool wrestler. And he's got like three different figures out, and uh, this is this is the one I found, and uh, I like it. It's Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I think the only thing that's missing is the feathered boa uh, from back in the days when he used to wear those too. He was just really outrageous, uh, but he lifted Andre the Giant over his head, so he you know he was uh, he was kind of the real deal, as real as you know professional wrestling could be anyway. So I, I got that as well. Uh, moving out of the wrestling realm and into my son's pops. I've got a couple of things for my son. Uh, adding to his Deadpool multicolor collection there. Uh, we have Fool Killer. And, and he doesn't know about this one yet. We've got the Metallic Madcap. Because he already has the regular Madcap, but I was able to find the Metallic one for him. And it's just a sharp pop. I mean, I you know what? We're going to take this one out real quick. I'm going to give you guys something to watch here. Because he takes his pops out of the box anyway. And, you know, they go back into the box pretty easily. But I just really, really, really want to... I like the metallic pops. The metallic pops and the glow-in-the-dark pops seem to be pops that I get really excited about. And uh, that is just a cool-looking pop. Look at that. He's shiny. And for this, he's heavy too. His his the head piece is heavy, but uh, he stands up pretty well. But we have metallic madcap. All right, I'll put him back in the box later. Save you guys some time. What else have I got? Oh, speaking of glow in the dark, I picked up. This is this is for me. Uh, I picked up Duck Dodgers. Uh, this is the Funko Shop edition, glow in the dark green, gamma green. Um, I haven't. Uh, Taking him out of the box yet, and I'll do it later. I'm going to be doing a second edition of Glow in the Dark Funko Pops because we've added quite a few since my first uh, video. 
If you want to see the first video, please go back into the uh, Golden Car Comics Library, check it out. Uh, my son and I tested out all of our glow in the dark pops. Some of them were on fire, some of them you could barely tell. But there's, there's Duck Dodgers. So I can put him with Marvin the Martian. Okay, what else? Okay. We have Surf's Up Batman from the 1966 series. I've got all the first edition ones, and now all the second edition ones are going to come out, and I've pre-ordered all those. Hopefully I get the Chase, Riddler. But, uh, you know, I had to get that. And if I have that one, well, then, you know, I had to get this one. Now, there is a FYE exclusive two-pack of the Surf's Up Joker and the Surf's Up Batman. I just, you know, I got the, I got the single ones. Um, they're easier to display, easier to store. All right. Moving on with some more pops. What am I going to do next here? Okay. Uh, this is also my son's because he swore we didn't have it, and I think he was right, but he does collect Batman. And so we have the the previous exclusive Batman. There we go. Glare off there for you. Let's show the back of the box there. Wonder Woman. and That's one. the only Wonder Woman pop we have is my son's glow-in-the-dark uh, White Lantern Wonder Woman. Um... I guess we'll be getting a Wonder Woman pop with the Legion of Collectors box. I saw the spoiler, so yeah, Wonder Woman's on her way. All right, also got myself my Tuxedo Walgreens exclusive Joker, which was just a pain. You know, everybody's Walgreens seemed to have a bunch of these. I, I watched a, a video that JoJo over at Pop.Comics did, and her Walgreens had a ton of these. Uh, my Walgreens never had them. On the other hand, my Walgreens, last I looked, had a ton of Kane Pops and uh, Shawn Michaels Pops from WWE. Not a fan of either one of those guys. They kind of came after my WWE watching time. So, um, anyway. If anybody needs a Kane Pop, you know, shoot me a message. Let me know. And then I've got one more Pop. Save the best for last. Wow. I got her. There she is. Already in a hard case. But I got my Think Geek Harley Quinn bombshell. Oh, she is ridiculously hard to find. I guess a lot of the boxes came damaged. This one is in fantastic shape. Um, I found it online. There was an eBay seller that didn't have a whole lot of reviews, so people were kind of uh, were afraid to buy from him, I guess. So I took a shot and I said, hey, if I'm buying through, if I'm using PayPal, you know, there's really not a whole lot of risk. And she came and she is in perfect shape. So now I officially have all of the bombshells. I have all the variants. I have all the regulars. Um, so I'm pretty happy. Now, with all that done, I do have a couple of comics to show you. Starting with, I picked up, oh, there we go. Harley's Little Black Book, issue number six, with Lobo. I, I'm really liking this series a lot, so I just wanted to go ahead and get that. And then, because I saw somebody online, somebody on YouTube, and I can't remember who I was watching now. I remember I made a comment, but I, uh, I can't remember who, who had it. But they had the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive edition of this. I couldn't find that, but I did find the New York Comic-Con exclusive of Spencer and Locke. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, um, if you ever read Calvin and Hobbes, this is supposed to be kind of Calvin and Hobbes, but grown up. Now, obviously, it's not exactly. It's, it's the, kind of the idea, but in this case... Um, Hobbs is now Locke, and he is not a tiger, he's a panther. But it's a grown man, he's a detective on the police force, and he is partner, is his imaginary friend, this panther. He carries around a stuffed panther. And it's really a good book. I'm really looking forward to reading the series. There's going to be, I think, a, a four-issue miniseries. I'm really looking forward to getting that, but I picked that up, and that was it's just a good book. So 
Uh, highly recommend it to anybody, especially if you have memories of Calvin and Hobbes. I really liked them when I was, I read a lot of them when I was in college and so on. But anyway, so that's it. That's all I have for you guys for right now. I'm expecting some great things to show up in the mail. Um, oh, I guess I can show you this while I'm talking. I picked this up. This was on sale over at FYE. Um, I collect my my giant monster movies, as well as my Universal monster movies, and they had Gamera, like all 11 movies, in one uh, CD set for like six bucks. So, had to grab him. Anyway, so, I've got some great things coming in the mail soon, some comics, I've got some, uh, some other stuff I hopefully will surprise you guys with. But, um, hey, thanks for watching, and thank you for all my subscribers. I keep bouncing between 159 and 160. Someone keeps adding me and dropping me. I'm not really sure. I'm not really following what's going on, but whatever. I, I'm thrilled with every single one of you that has remained, uh, remained a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you jump on. Hit the little uh, alarm uh, bell key so that you get notified every time I put out a new video because I'm going to have some new ones coming up real soon. Uh, of course, I've got Comic-Con coming in Cheyenne uh, next month, and then after that, we've got Denver Comic-Con, and I've been buying all kinds of crazy stuff online, and new books, and old books, and uh, I would love to have you be a part of the Golden Car Comics family. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I am out of here. Alright, found something else I wanted to add to the, uh, to the video here real, real quick. Um, I found this page on Facebook. Uh, it's called Mondo, and uh, they had a whole bunch of Spider-Man stuff, and I bought my son a limited edition poster that's not here yet, and I also bought him some pins. So I wanted to show those off real quick. Here we got Spider-Man and Peter Parker. We got the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Because my son's always bummed out because I keep the pins from our collector's boxes. Um, so, I thought, well, you know, I like the pins. He keeps the patches. But, uh, so I bought him some of his own pins. We've got a, uh, half Spidey, half Peter Parker Spider-Man, half Miles Morales Spider-Man, I guess. And then last but not least, because my son won't wear it, <laughs> but it came in the set, we've got a Spider-Gwen pin. And that is all I have to show on this video. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Again, I'll see you real soon.